Hello, my name is Amir. I'm a youth worker with Killington Council. Um, today we're going to be doing some urban art. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, I'm not sure if the microphone is, yes, it is working. Right, okay. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, due to the weather outside, um, I am going to have to do it indoors. But to do it indoors, you need a room with good ventilation. So in this room, I've got all of the windows open as wide as they can go. I've also got a fan going in the background. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So I do apologize for the noise of traffic behind me, but um, I don't control the traffic. So I'm afraid it's uh, something we all have to put up with, but I hope I hope you can hear me clearly, okay? Now, a few safety things before we get into this video, all right? First off, um, we're using spray paints, spray cans, okay? They are highly dangerous. They are toxic. Um, they are also flammable, all right? So they are not to be messed around with. They are, used, they are to be used responsibly. Um, you also have to be over 18 to buy um, to buy um, spray paints, okay? Um, and most most shops, when you do buy spray paints, will require an adult to show ID and um, to sign for them as well, okay? It's just basically a declaration to say that they will be used responsibly. Um, also, I can't recommend enough. I'd say this is more mandatory than the um, the spray painting itself, but face masks, okay? I can't stress enough how important they are, okay? So I've just got this one here. Um, I got filters on the side and a filter at the front. This is to stop you from breathing in the aerosol, okay? The reason it's so important is because you can have um, problems with your lungs if um, if you breathe it if you breathe in too much basically so face masks mandatory no arguments no ifs no buts face masks if you haven't got a face mask don't do any spray painting all right second of all though they're, they're optional not mandatory but you have some gloves um, again just to keep your hands clean um, you know, like I said, optional, don't need them. Also, if you have an apron, um, again, optional, wear it. Um, otherwise, wear some clothes you don't mind getting a bit dirty, getting a bit of paint on it, okay? Um, I think that's all the uh, safety uh, things. So, um, we're going to get right into it. So, I'm going to come around here. So you guys can see a bit better. All right. I'm also going to put on my gloves again. I don't want my hands to get dirty. I'm just going to bring the camera down like this. All right. I'm going to wear this mask. But like I said, mandatory. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Off, um, okay. Right. Now the boring bit is over. We can actually get into it. All right. So I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can just see it a bit clearer, clearly. All right. So we're going to be using black and white spray paint for this one. All right. We're not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to do a simple um, moon, night sky, a bit of mountain, a bit of water. Um, really simple to do. Okay. Adjustment. All right. Yeah. So, um, you got the proper artist spray paint, Montana Gold, this is. Um, these you can get at any art, art and craft shop. Um, 
also, you don't have to use just um, art spray paints, okay? Um, this one is actually for um, surfaces. You can get these at any sort of hardware shop, wherever. Again, um, you do need to be over 18 to buy them, all right? So for this one, so just to show you, we're going to be using this one for this pe for this picture. If we have time, um, I'll use the proper artist one just to show you the difference, all right? So first things first, right? I got my stencil here. This this is going to form our little moon, all right? This is actually just uh, a lid from an old um, cup noodle. So you can use anything that's round, but make sure the edges, as you can see, are thin, all right? This is to help prevent uh, rings from going around your planet or your moon, all right? So I'm just gonna place it there. It can go anywhere, but uh, I'm just gonna put it here, all right? And the first thing, Right, you just want to mist it. You don't. You just want to press it lightly, yeah, like that. And we lift it up. Now we do this just so we know where our planet's going to be and how big it will be. Um, things like that, so you don't use more than you need to. All right. Now, first things first. I'm going to come in with a bit of white. I'm just going to spray it like that. All right. And now I'm going to get a bit of black. All right. I'm just going to spray over it like that. And then just go over it again with a bit of white. All right. And then the next thing you want to do, you can use a plastic bag like I'm using here, but you can also use a newspaper, magazine, just anything plastic. You can do some cool little textures to this, all right? You can scrunch it up, open it up, and just pat it down. Um, you can uh, do it like that, so you get a nice little circle out of it. Um, it's completely up to you. Play around with it, do whatever, all right? So um, I'm just going to do it this way, all right? So you just want to place it over. All right, you just want to lightly tap it, all right? And the cool thing is, there's no limit to the amount you can um, tap it down, all right? You can do it as many times as you want. If you're not happy with it, just go over it again. If you're still not happy with it, or the color looks a bit off, just spray over it again, all right? Because that's the cool thing about um, spray, spray um, urban art. You can go over it as much as you like, all right? So, We've got that little design. I'm going to go over it again with a clear side, like so, and lift it up again. And you see, every time you do it, it's going to look a bit different. And that's the cool thing. Yeah? So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, because I'm using um, surface spray, all right, we're going to have to wait for it to dry. If we were outside and it was nice and hot and the breeze was coming in, it'll dry in no time. But as we're inside, I'm going to have to leave it to one side for the moment to dry. Okay? So I'm just going to place it here. All right. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, if you are feeling brave enough to try some colours, then go for it. Why not? All right. So let me just get a bit of paper out. Yeah. So I'm going to get my piece of paper out, like so. I'm going to put one here. And you know what? Let's do two little flats. Two little flats. We can, right? So I'm going to put one here. I'm probably going to place this one, say, about here. It doesn't matter where you place it, to be honest with you. Um, it's spray painting. You can go over it as many times as you like, right? Now, I'm going to use just... The Mr. Pink, like that. All right. Okay. And again, if you're using color, just go absolutely crazy with the color. It doesn't matter. All right. So for this one, I'm going to make it quite light, quite bright. So uh, for this one, I'm just going to put in a bit of blue, a 
a bit of ping. Like that. Right. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of a bit of uh, purple, because why not? And um, you know what? We'll add a bit of chocolate to it as well. Again, we can. There's no limit. Just do whatever you want. All right. Like that. And then we're going to go over it with a bit of um, a bit of white. Like that. Uh, and we're going to put some black streaks in there. Just like this, we can. Pow, 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 pow. All right. And then for this one, I'm going to get a bit of a bit of newspaper. All right. I've got my bit of newspaper. I'm just going to fold it like that. And I'm just going to go up here, and I'm just going to go. Like that. All right, so we've got ourselves like a cool little texture here. That's another texture you can do. And with this one, let's go a bit darker. All right, let's go for deep purple. Um, go for Valerie purple. And let's go for shock blue. All right, and let's go over it with. Um, a little bit of white. All right, and this one, I'm just gonna put it down. Do it gently, right? Because if it's still wet, bits of your newspaper can get stuck to the paper, all right? And we don't want that. So I'm just gonna lift it up. There you go. Again, I'm just gonna dab it. All right, so that's nice and stuff. All right, now, if you want to go that extra mile, we can put in a bit of shading. So I'm going to put my stencil here just to see where about it goes. All right, and I'm just going to go over it with a bit of black. Yeah. Bit of shade. And I'm just going to go over here. And I'm just going to go over this bit with a little bit of white. If I can find it. There it is. All right. Yeah. All right, let's go over it with a little bit of white. So we've got the dark side and the light side, all right? Again, you wait for that to dry. While that's drying, I'm going to bring in my other one. All right, there's the other one. It should have dried by now. Just do a little touch test. Seems dry enough to me. So, I'm going to whack my little stencil down again. Again, you can put in little shading if you want to, but this is just going to be a simple one. Um, just to show you guys how you can, um, just to basically show you how you can do it. But as you get used to it, put in more, um, more uh, color. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to paint this black, um, background completely black all right like this you don't want to go too heavy but as you're doing it make sure you shake it all right bit here yeah uh a bit more all right cool yeah and then we're going to add stars right how you add stars it's quite cool you want to get your fingertips and you want to spray it on like that, all right? When you spray it on, do a little flick to the side. Don't put it on your page just yet. That gets rid of the excess paint for you, yeah? All right? And then when you flick it, you want to flick it up top. Not from the side, but up top. Those will give the, um, it'll just make it look like stars that bit more, basically, all right? So I'm just going to go this side, spray it. All right, and then you can put as much on as you want until your heart is content, basically. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more. All right, cool, awesome.
Yeah. All right. Give me two seconds. Am I heard? Yeah, I heard. Cool. Thank you. Um, right, so what I've just done is I've sprayed it, put some stars over it. That's cool. I'm going to get another glove because the one I put the stars on um, is completely wet and I don't want to, uh, you know, ruin it. So, all right, now, the cool bit, right, you can lift up your stencil. Look at that. Oh, I know you can't see it very well, actually, but uh, two seconds. All right. Okay. Sorry, the video is frozen. Give me two seconds. So that's the one we want. Sorry, guys, I'm having some issues. Right, so if you want to still heard the video. Right. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, this isn't what I was hoping for, but uh, that's technology for you, I'm afraid. Right, there we go. It's back on. Excellent. Right. So I've lifted up my stencil and I've got my little moon here. It looks perfect for me. So what we're going to do next is take some, some cool little mountains. All right. So I'm going to get my black like that. And I'm just going to just spray it a bit like that. Don't have to go too crazy with it. All right. And now I'm just going to get a bit of white. All right. Just create a little outline like that. And then there we go. Don't need to go too crazy with it. And then we're going to get um, a plastic bag, right? And we are going to just go over the edges like that, like this, and like that. All right. Tap it down, peel back, you've got your mountain. All right. Again, you can go over some of the top, some of the edges you missed. So I'm just going to just go like that. All right. Cool. All right. Now, you can leave it like that if you want. That, that looks like an all right little mountain to me. All right. But, Say if you do want to add a bit of detail in it, all right, all you need to do is get this. This is an art spatula, all right, and you're just going to want to etch it. This separation between the black and white, that's going to act like your sort of reference point, all right, and all you're going to do is just get it, and you're just going to just etch it a little bit. You know, don't be afraid, just let it take you to wherever it wants to go. Um, you know, uh, let's say our light source is coming this way, so this part is going to be more detailed and this part is going to have little details, all right? But like I said, just scratch it and don't be afraid to let it kind of guide you, okay? This is going to add a bit of bit of depth to your to your mountain. All right, I'm just putting some clear coat on it because my paint's drying up a little. All right. Yeah. And adjust the uh, pressure you're putting on. All right. 
more. All right. Again, the clear coat, you don't need to buy it, but it'll just help um, your paint to not dry up, basically. All right. Now, as you can see, it is forming some nice little shapes and patterns. All right. Now, I could uh, go on for hours here, so I'm just going to do it quickly so you guys don't get bored. All right, and then just, you know, like I say, just don't be scared to let it guide you the way you want it to go. And like I said, just go crazy with the patterns, guys. It's just, um, honestly, uh, that's the cool thing about this, just go a bit crazy with the patterns. Um, yeah. Cool, and I'll just do one more here. Cool, I'm just gonna leave it as that, but as you can see, it is, um, it has got some cool little rocky textures to it. Looks all right. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let that dry. Because I did forget about the other one. Alright. So I brought back my other one. Yeah. That looks pretty dry to me. So again, we're gonna put our little stencils over it. So I'm gonna put this one up here. Yeah. And get my other one. Yeah. And whack it just there. Now we're gonna do a nice guy, but. We're going to make it a bit colourful, yeah? So, let's go shock pink down here. All right, and then we'll go purple here. All right, and then we'll go blue. All right, we've got a deep purple. All right, like I said, don't be, don't be afraid to um, experiment with the colors a bit. It's spray painting after all. Um, urban art, sorry. Yeah, and then we're just gonna go a bit of black. All right, and as you can see, um, some colors are still there, but you know, you can brine it up a bit, a bit of blue, a bit of raspberry. You get these cool little textures. All right, um, here we go, a bit more shock pink, so why not? It really gives it that um, sort of out of space effect, I think. But uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. All right, again, a bit more blue down here. Um, a bit more, all right. I'm just going to leave it at that because, you know, uh, all right. So we've got we've got a cool little thing, and just because that's what I like to do, I'm going to add some more stars to it. But since we've got a brighter background, I'm not going to add too many. All right, so I'm going to take off the stuff. No good for me now. All right, and then what we're going to do next is, you guessed it, some more Rocky Mountain. Practice it, if I can find the, uh, there it is. Just practice your mountain, slightly. it's, um, you know, it is, uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the one that is. Right. Right. I'm just going to do a little one. Right, I'm not going to go too big on this one. 
Uh, where is the Y? Oh, I've got it. Just missed it, missed it. When you're spraying, you only really want to do short burst. I realise I haven't mentioned that. But you only just want to do short burst. Again, get your plastic bag like that. All right, wipe it down. Boom. All right, you've got your cool little mountain. Um, like I said, just go over it if you need to. All right. Um, and uh, again, you can just do some cool little patterns if you want it. Because the background's pink, the highlight is going to be pink. And, uh, you know, I like pink personally. So we're just going to do it. Now, our light source is coming from here, I believe it was. So, uh, you know, this part is going to be a bit brighter. All right. I can uh, go on for hours doing this, but uh, I'm just doing it quickly and uh, just because I'm, I'm a bit aware of time. That's why I've got about 15 minutes or so. All right. And again, light source is here, so we can go crazy with this one. Go crazy here. Oh, I say, just have fun with it, guys. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect anyway. Um, this one isn't going to be perfect, but you know what? I'm having a good time doing it, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. All right. I'm just going quick. And if it does dry up, um, again, you don't need you don't need to do a coat. It's just um, waiting for paint a little bit. All right, there you go. You see, it's easier to scratch a bit now. All right, and the fun part: lift up your stencil. There we go. Got a nice one here, and. So you see, because I've added a bit of shading to it, it looks uh, all right. All right, so I'm just going to leave that to dry for a little bit. All right, now we're going to add some water to this one. Again, it's very simple, very basic. Um, All right, I've got a vinyl smoother, but um, you can actually just use any sort of straight edge tool. Um, you know, it's just a vinyl smoother that I've got. Um, so I can find my color. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just paint it a bit black here. Um, get my white. All right. Uh, so my moon's here. So reflecting the moon. All right, okay, and um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to go too crazy because, like I said, I'm a bit aware of time. But you have your little water here. You can leave it like that if you want, or something you can do is just get your finger run across it like that, or you get your whole hand, or you can even use this. So a bit of clear coat because I just used acrylic on that and it's dry green and shit. So, all I'm just going to do is just go down here and just go like that. All right, and you've got your little water here. All right, you can go one side this way, one side the other way. Every time you finish using it, give it a quick wipe. Um, I've only got a bit of loo roll, but it does the job. And, uh, you know. And like I said, when you do go about getting these things, um, you don't have to go high end, high budget. Just get the cheapest one you can get, really. Um, like I said, they're not, they don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. I want a bit more white here, so I'm just gonna go like that. 
Right, I'm just going to go over it with my finger like that. This is just another way you can do it. Again, everyone's got their own technique. Um, do it however you want. All right, and here, you know what? Let's do it. Let's add a little bit of mist to this. All right. All right, so we've got a bit of a mist going up here. All right, and yeah, I'm gonna say this one's done. All right, now with the other one. Right, I've got 10 minutes left for each. All right, now with this one. All right, that's uh, looking all right. Um, let me just get another glove. It might be worth buying two boxes of gloves because you can go through a lot of them. So uh, I'm just using um, these cheap ones. I actually got these from Poundland. They do the job. Uh, no problem, no hassle whatsoever. All right. So we want it. We want to. We want it to reflect the sky, right? All right. So um, again, straight into school. I need to get my loo roll again. Give it a wipe down. All right. And then we're just going to put it, say, about here. And we want it to reflect the sky. So we're going to go a bit of pink here. All right. Um, bit of this here. Yeah. Um, let's go a bit of dark purple here. All right. And shot blue at the end. All right, and you want to go over it with a bit of white. Oh, I used the wrong one, sorry. Uh, there it is. Just a bit of white. All right. And we're just going to go like that. All right, I'm just going to leave it as that because it looks all right. But again, you can go down like that. A bit to the left and to the right. All right. All right. I'm going to give my thing a quick wipe again. The trusted new roll. And then, um, I always, I always like to look at it and, uh, you know, see if there's anything more I can add to it. All right. Um, if I can find what I wanted to use, which is here. All right, this isn't properly dry, but um, oh, we've got three minutes. All right. Um, so whilst we're waiting for it to dry, um, I want to go over um, some more safety points. Right, spray paints are to be used responsibly. All right. Um, they're actually against the law to. Um, um, tag it to, to um, graffiti um, in public, all right? So um, you want to use them responsibly, all right? Don't be silly with them. Use it for what I'm using it for. Use it to make a bit of art. Uh, use it to make a bit of, uh, you know, um, you know, it's there for fun, really, isn't it? Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to add a little shining star, all right, like that. Now, when you spray it, you want to spray it here like that, yeah? And this is what's going to help me uh, give it that effect, yeah? So, so you see, you've got a little little burst of light there. Yeah, um, and then in the middle, power. Uh, I know it's not perfect, but it was just showing you guys that something a bit more. Um, is this dry? Yeah, that's dry. Now, I got a little stencil here that I made earlier, right? I'm going to make it in a way so like she's lifting up off this planet. All right, so what you're going to do is, it's just going to, I think, uh, it's going to ruin the star a bit, but I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. 
All right, so we're going to place it here. All right, now with two tools, you want to be very, very light with it. You, you only want to spray it a tiny bit. So like that. And again, I'm just using this to um, hold down what I need to hold down. All right, and then the head. All right. And then hopefully this lifts up without a problem. It does. I know it's a bit mucky at the minute, but um, you can always decorate that. Right, I actually forgot to bring the, the paper I needed today. But, um, you know, like I say, if it looks a bit mucky, it's just, uh, you know, decorate it a little bit. Give it a bit of life, a bit of character. Um, you know, nothing too complicated at the end of the day. So we like things simple. But, Yeah, but that's just um, one way you can do it. All right, uh, again, it's not perfect, but I'm just a bit worried for time. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just kind of show you both side by side. So, as you can see, this one was made using a little bit of colour. Uh, that was because I put the paper over it without it drying, but again, it was just to show you guys, um, you know, some cool little things you can do. So I'm just going to go over it, pick it up a little, probably ruined it, but oh well. Um, cool, and we've got our little girl on a balloon, planet balloon. Um, again, I didn't actually have the right paper, um, so that's why it looked a bit messy, but again, it was just to show you guys. And this one here um, was just using black and white uh, paint. Um, like I said, just practice with it. Go crazy with it. You don't have to do anything perfect. It's just practicing, all right? Um, next week, I will just do one piece because doing two in about 40 minutes is probably a bit too much of a stretch. But I, I was just using it for the time, I guess. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if there's any particular themes or anything you'd like me to go through, uh, just let me know. And um, hope you enjoy the rest of this rainy day. So thank you for joining. If you do make some hashtag Young Healington, all right? Nice one. Take care. Bye-bye.